When you try this recipe out, you're gonna wonder why this combination hasn't broken the internet yet. Let's make butter chicken pizza in the new Sunashi pizza maker. Save this recipe for the perfect pizza dough. To a bowl, add some yeast, sugar, warm water, mix it well and leave it for 10 minutes to get all foamy and bubbly. Once that happens, add in some oil, a pinch of salt and 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Now mix this with a spatula until it's just combined and then start kneading it by hand until it forms a smooth dough. Place it back into the bowl, coat it with a layer of oil and leave it to ferment for at least 2 hours or until it doubles in size. In the meantime, fry up your marinated chicken pieces in some butter and leave it aside. Now let's make a shortcut butter chicken sauce that's gonna blow your mind. To some butter, add a teaspoon of chilli powder and kasuri methi and about 100 grams of tomato paste. Add a pinch of coriander powder, cumin powder, some water and leave it to cook for a few minutes. Add some cream, a pinch of garam masala, some fresh coriander leaves and a knob of butter. Once it's all well combined, finish it off with some tomato ketchup, some kasuri methi and the world's quickest, delicious creamy butter chicken sauce is ready. Now that the prep work is done, let me bring to you the beautiful Sonachi pizza maker. Equipped with an adjustable thermostat that gives you soft or crispy pizzas to your liking. A durable lightweight stainless steel construction and a 30 cm non-stick base that gives you the perfect crust and even cooking from both sides. This device ticks all the boxes that you would need for the perfect pizza experience at home. So now let's assemble the pizza and get cooking. Once your dough is well risen, punch it down and transfer it to a surface. Avoid using a rolling pin and shape the dough by hand and stretch it to the size that you would need. Now evenly coat the delicious butter chicken pizza sauce that you just prepared and top it with a generous amount of mozzarella cheese. Finish it off with your fried chicken pieces and cook this at 200 degrees until the cheese is all melted and bubbly. In this device, that just takes 10 minutes. A creamy and delicious butter chicken sauce, a perfectly cooked crust and a crispy bottom. It does not get better than this. If you don't believe me, try this recipe out and let me know how it goes.